And so we get to the business end of the season. We're one game away from securing at least a playoff place. But more than that, we are in a record-breaking season. Hello and welcome to episode 43 of From the Bottom Up to the Top. My name is Mark and on today's episode we have games against Cambridge United in League 2 and also Morecambe uh, also in League 2. Two games then for the league and as you'll see from the uh, the table on the left hand side here we are currently top of the pops uh, we're still in first place 86 points 12 points clear of Shrewsbury now Shrewsbury have played their games in hand I think uh, last time you were with us uh, they were actually two uh, games in hand over us they've used those up and they are still 12 points behind us uh, we have uh, by my reckoning eight games to go um, is that right uh, no, no, yeah um eight games to go um the possibility of 24 points i think it is uh, still to be had so it's still mathematically possible for them to catch us um but obviously as uh, as time ticks on certainly today's uh, games on the episode um hopefully we'll have a bit better picture at the end of these two games as to exactly where we are anyway um the playoff places are here so uh with that in mind if we win today then uh, i think we've got enough space between us and uh, between there and there anyway um to uh, be able to guarantee ourselves a playoff spot and as it currently stands we are 18 points uh, away from chesterfield who are in fourth so um bearing in mind that uh, 24 is the target as I say, by the end of today's game, we could well be in a position where we've uh, guaranteed ourselves uh, promotion to League One. Um, what a shame that the series comes to an end uh, in the next two, two episodes. It might be that uh, we'll carry it on at some point or other. Um, so that's where we are that's uh, what's happening let's have a quick look at what's happened since you were last with us um as you all know we lost a one nil to port vale a uh, bit of a dire um dire game really uh, managed to squeeze a one nil win against cheltenham and um yeah since then we seem to have had a bit of a, a sort of better run if, if you like uh, we beat salford city three nil oldham by a goal to nil eventually um and a uh, bolton by three nil um and dimitri c um i'm not sure if he'd come in when you were with us last we'll check in just a moment um i think he had um he was injured when he first came in but uh yeah dimitri c has actually uh he's he's got on the score sheet as did uh, chris kosongo and chris kosongo did the business again again against carlisle late on 83 minutes gone against carlisle um, but he did actually score the goal um, that won us the game uh, against them uh, home against Cambridge away against Morecambe they are the two games and then uh, that will bring us back um, probably for the last two games of the season Gillingham and Accrington Stanley um, which will be uh, just a wrap up really as to uh, as to what goes on um, let's have a quick look at the transfers then because um yeah chris kazongo actually came in i think on the day um that we um were last uh in the last episode chris kazongo came in and dimitri c who is on loan uh, from aston villa um he's with us until the end of the season but uh well because he was injured we still needed uh, some firepower up front because uh, as we know um uh, Ashley Seals just really isn't doing it at all this season. He's he's not not having a good time. With he's he has dropped back in off he come back in off the bench and just really I, I think his head's been turned and um, probably um, though we've given him a uh, renewed contract um, that doesn't seem to have done the job either. It is highly likely um, that uh, I think we will be trying to move him on in the summer transfer 
window. Nia Kirby, on the other hand, he's gone to uh, Queen's Park Rangers. He hasn't scored any goals yet. He's done two assists. Um, he's played four games, five off of the bench for them, uh, and has a 6.53 uh, average rating, which isn't fantastic, really. Um, maybe it's a bit of a... Uh, too big a step up for him but at least he's getting game time so that's the main thing right without any more to do i think it's high time we got on to our first game of the episode which is against cambridge united And the other good bit of good news is uh, we do have a reasonably fit uh, squad again um the other take two and the other good news is uh, we have uh, a reasonably fit squad uh, for uh, today's game. And uh, you'll also see from this we are odds-on favourites, uh, two to five to win this. And our form has gone back to excellent, whereas uh, Cambridge United are inconsistent. I think, if my memory serves me right, they are currently languishing on in 19th uh, place but as we well know from previous experience the teams near the bottom we seem to struggle against the teams near the top we seem to pull something out of the bag um, but uh, hopefully today that's not going to be the case today we can uh, go forward in a full run this is the team that we have selected then we've got slicker in goal it's very familiar apart from maybe uh, the uh, the two attackers uh, slicker in goal Gallagher, Lightbourne, Joseph and O'Reilly. You notice that Beavers has actually dropped to the bench and that is on the instruction of my um, my assistant. Lightbourne hasn't been playing too badly. Um, I think it's more to try and give him, give him a bit of game time and to uh, to quieten him down because he, he's, he's still showing as unhappy. So uh, maybe that's, uh, that's where it was rocking the boat a little bit. So giving him a bit of game time has sort of quietened him down. Um, Sorry, Egan Riley. Yes, Scully at the base of midfield. Davis, Harding and Ogunby in front of him. And then C, Dimitri C and Kosongo are our two strikers. On the bench today, we have Alan, Beavers, Thomas, Smith, Young, Jason Mee and Cannon. Uh, Alan stays as the goalkeeper, um, mainly because Carter has been injured, uh, but also he makes up our n um, minimum that we need on the bench of homegrown at club and uh, of which he is one uh, still no place on the uh, bench for benny ashley seal who you will see here um we have given him game time in the under 23s just try and get him back onto the uh onto the rails as it were and um if he can uh, show that we may see him again uh towards the end of the season hopefully uh by then he'll be back on track as i say um, it may be his head's been turned and it may be that uh, he's on his way out as it were and uh, maybe the uh, the likes of Kazongo and uh, and Cannon and maybe a, a couple of others or we might even bring somebody in to uh, to replace for life in League One should we get there of course Kazongo is still uh, lacking a little bit of um, sharpness match sharpness and once again, the speaker's been on. That's because we've been editing uh, videos. Uh, should be one of the things I check before we switch on. I need a checklist. Uh, right, so team talk wise, um, what have we got in our armory today? Um, expect nothing but a win to keep this good running. Just go out there and relax. Um, we are favourites to so go out there and give Cherm a performance to play for. We only need a point to secure a playoff place at worst, so go out there and impress me. Um, is that going to be the team talk? It's not. Not done what we wanted it to do. Right. Yikes. Um, should have taken note of what Steve McAnally said. Should have challenged the team to prove a point. Um, I thought we were, sort of. You know, right? Have a tunnel interview. This is because we're getting to the nub end of the season. Um, a worst defence in League Two. You must consider favourites to win. Um, I'm not in the business of making pre-match predictions. Um, John Ball Bell uh, comes into the match, provided uh, some impressive midfield displays in recent weeks. Do you have a plan to stop him? Guess we're about to find out. Uh, Jordan Davis has been pulling all the strings in midfield uh, lately. How important will he be today? It's sort of uh, more of a team game. Um, 
He's as important as everyone else. This is a team going, yes. Kieran Slicker on a fairly lengthy run without conceding the goal. How can uh, can he keep it going for? I'm not going to risk chicken seeing him by talking about it, that's for sure. And that is that. Uh, once again, a very minimal crowd. If we get into League One, I'm not sure. The stadium, actually one of the things we check um, between the matches is the stadium must be not far off um, up in Bradford. And I think that's one of the reasons. I mean, we're playing in Manchester and can't really expect uh, all our fans to travel all the way to Manchester from Bradford. Um, anyway, Davis has the ball into the area. That's hit the crossbar and they've managed to get rid of it. And that's our first opportunity, I think. Scully with the ball in. And it's gone out for another corner. So Scully can go back out. In fact, it wasn't our first. I think it was our second attempt at goal. Scully with the ball in. And I think that was Joseph possibly heading that over the top. Either Joseph or Lightbourne, one of the two. And they're coming forward and putting us under pressure. Slicker equal to that. Uh, out for a corner. Come on, boys. Oh, just over the top. Maybe it's time for a get a creative, do you think? Lightbourne is anxious. Oh, no, he's gone back to composed. That's good. Gallagher tries to rifle the ball in, but it's gone out for a throw. Behind the line, Gallagher. He's thrown in to Davis. Davis back to Gallagher. Gallagher now with the ball into the area and C looking for space. He's kept it in, but uh, the defender was there and just got rid of. He was looking for the gap between the post and the goalkeeper and didn't find it. We have a free kick now over the top to Kazongo. Kazongo, is he going to score here? No. Very tame shot. Seem to have lost our uh, mojo with regards to shooting. 17th yellow card for Scully. Still got to find Mulder. And had no possession in this game. That's the one thing I have noticed in the last however many games. Um, our possession rate has gone way down and I'm not quite sure why. Um, and I think that's partly the issue. Um, we did have um, quite high possession, which I think was what won us games, but uh, that's what we're suffering with. Right. Um, far from pleased. And we're going to up the ante a little bit here. Assertively say you need to calm down. Who's not performing? Generally, they're okay. Probably the front two need to the ability to make a difference. Get out there and do it. Um, and that's probably the same talk that we need to give to Oganby and Lightborn. Speak to them too. And again. Right, let's see if that makes a difference. We're ready to walk through walls. Let make them walk through walls then. A point will do, but ideally we could really do with a win here. Be absolutely love. We have been scoring late in games, and they have an attack on, which, uh, having just mentioned the point, will do. I've probably put the curse, the FM curse, on us not winning these balls back and this is this is also a bit of a concern go out and tackle him for goodness sake come on lads I almost prefer to play a positive uh, in as opposed to attacking because if we're not getting the uh, might switch to a positive in a second that ball's gone forward and slicker's equal to it thankfully uh, let's switch to a positive and just see if that uh, ball in and they've scored 
I think Nibs scored against us last time and he scored again this time. Yeah. Who was that? That was Davis that was marking him and uh, he got away from him. Right. Show some passion. That's fired them up. And Tony Gallagher giving away a free kick. And if they score a second here, we're done for. While we're a goal down. And they have scored a second. And... Yeah... Right. Well, you watch your silly highlights. Uh, it's time for changes, I think. Um, clearly, we've got underperformers. Dimitri and Kazongo not playing ball today, despite telling them to mix it up. At uh, Ogan Beast dropped away as well. Um, so. Right, let's put Davis on this side because he can play that side. We'll bring Brad Young on for Ogunby. And we need to bring Cannon on. Who are we bringing Cannon on for? We'll bring Cannon on for Kazongo. No, we won't. Did that the wrong way around then. Right, we'll bring Cannon on for C and we'll swap them two over. We'll put Cannon on pressing forward on attack and I'm going to do the same with I know it's not his favourite but let's put him on pressing forward as well right they are the changes for the minute then and two down it does feel like we should go back to attacking as well simply because we've got nothing in the tank they have the highlight again we really have not been in this match at all still 36 percent possession and uh, that's pretty poor cannon can he get us a goal back no shake at the goalkeeper and like i said earlier this is another example of us playing a team that's languishing in 19th place worst defense in the league and uh we just struggle against them we're just not not producing the goods. Egan Riley's been booked. In fact, you can see once again um, we have um, they're they're getting despondent and uh, we're not going to get anything out of this game. It's um, frustration has crept in, and they really are. 88 minutes gone. I'm not going to pull two goals back in uh, 88 minutes. So, do we make that final change? Davis is tired. So is Gallagher. So we'll bring Jordan Thomas on for Gallagher on that left side. He can play as a wing back and prefers it on the right side. So. I think we're going to have to put this one down to, yeah. Not today, guys. Not today. And that's the frustrating way that we've been. Um, simply put, that was not good enough. And I'm fed up with telling them the same. I think, I mean, if we were going to continue the series beyond, and we were successful getting up to League One, I think it's uh, it's mass clear out time um, in the summer, um, and uh, I think it's uh, yeah, I think it's high time. So, eleven points. Um, thankfully, it looks awfully like Port Vale now are in fourth place on seventy-one points. So we have. 15 points over Port Vale. Um, with seven games to go with 21. So 
it's still within the realms but had we won that um we'd have been on 89 points which would have been sort of 18 points with 21 to go which would have meant uh, one more game would have probably put us in a situation where had we won the next game that would have pretty much finished it off um right shrewsbury drew 1-1 with accrington stanley so that's how that's conjured up um we are still 11 points clear of them thankfully and um as i say 15 so as long as we can win a couple more games uh we'll need to have a look and see what's what right what were we going to have a look at um we do secure a playoff spot to, despite losing that game which is good news um what's that spin on it get better of bradford upon even no answer to cambridge prowess and dead ball situation yeah i think it was those that uh, that got us um so we have guaranteed a playoff place um but we still do and we got the fine from a thousand pound fine for the yellow cards again i don't know how much we've paid out in uh, in that um we were going to have a look at something and i for the life of me can't remember I'm going to try and remember and we'll come back to that we we're going to check on something yeah um okay so uh we'll uh we'll sort this out um do the post-match uh, conference and we will come back for our second game and hopefully a winning game against Morecambe and I remembered what it was that uh we were trying to uh to look at uh, at the end of the, the last game uh, it was the stadium of course uh, playing in Manchester as I think we were saying um, realistically uh, too far away from home um, so um, the expansion to 7,200 uh, an increase of 3,200 seats I don't know that we're going to fill it but there you go um, of Horsefall Stadium uh, will be completed on the 9th of the 4th so we're currently on the 15th of the 3rd so we are we should see the last couple of games of the season um hopefully what home games we've got um at the new stadium so fingers crossed that that uh, will appear in the next episode so without any more to do um let's go through to the team uh that we're going to select for this the second game against Morecambe and so here we are against Morgan, and the team that we have selected is as follows slicker in goal richards comes back in on the left hand side of defense lightbourne joseph and egan riley scully at the base of midfield young harding and ogenby in front of him and then up front we have c and cannon returns the bench is alan beavers thomas smith Rydal, jason me and Ashley Seal he's back on the bench for today's game let's see if we can get a win out of this one um, and the reason uh, Young uh, is or Brad Young is on that uh, that side is uh, because um, Davis has got a two match suspension having got too many yellow cards uh, which is never good of course right go out and prove a point so let's do this one at the bottom which generally has the best options throw in from richards to harding back to richards richards with the ball floated in not anybody there but harding picks the loose ball up see now to young young back to scully scully to harding harding to scully back out to egan riley on the overlap can he get across in yes he can but there's nobody there and they have a counter attack as it stands at the minute i need to defend this guys come on please not cut out by the defense brad young getting back and that's into the area and defended well slicker gets a save on that but it's not cleared and goes out for a corner i think it's joseph who's put it out for a corner the corner coming in 
and Slicker manages to get it. See with the headed ball to Cannon and Cannon straight at the goalkeeper and then hits the side net in. That seems to be our problem. We don't where we were getting past the uh past the goalkeeper. We don't seem to be getting past. We have a free kick. Scully with the free kick. Headed over the top. Seems to be doing a bit better on possession this time. Right, what's happening here? The ball's with Oganby. Oganby to Harding. Harding tripped but manages to get it through to Cannon. Egan Riley now on the ball. Scully looking for Oganby on the overlap. Oganby needs to get the ball into the areas. Tucked it back to Egan Riley. Egan Riley tries to get the ball in. And only manages to crash it against the defender. Joseph tidies up. He's gone all the way back to Slicker. Long ball forward to Harding. Harding misses the target. Beats the goalkeeper, misses the target. Lightbourne is complacent. I'm thinking about taking him off at half time. Um, the uh, headed clearance by Richards to Joseph. Joseph to Richards. And Joseph wins that ball back. He's determined today, that's for sure. But we lost the ball again, and so more can come again at us. And the ball's in. This is just bordering on atrocious now. Really is. We'd, we've lost all sight of crossing and their players just got through us. Um, Brad Young pick it up here. A yellow card. We're through to half time. Lewis Richards playing absolute shambles. Lightbourne as well. What are you doing? Not happy with your performance. And likewise with... In fact... Right. Tactics. Um, first things first. We're going to bring Breavers on for Lightbourne. Because just... He's really hacking me off. Totally. Back to team talk. Hand over to assistant and team talk. And let's see what we can do in the second half. Demand more. I have a feeling we're going to have a losing episode here. Lewis Richards now been booked. Forward ball to C. C cuts inside and has a shot himself, which the goalkeeper couldn't hold on to, but it's gone out for a corner. Scully with the ball in and it's headed clear to Cannon. Cannon cannons it against the defender. And we have a throw in now to Cannon. Cannon to Harding. Harding puts it into an area and the all he did was the defender there they're on the counter now and they are outnumbering us Joseph trying to get back 
manages to force the shot, an early shot which goes wide. And I think if we're going to do it, we're going to do it off of camera. Harding now has picked up an injury. So we need to bring on Martin Spith for him. And also Brad Young not having a good game. And again, it's it's these wide players that are not doing it for us. Um, do I bring Rydal on or do I bring Ashley Seal on for... Let's bring Ashley Seal on for Dimitri C and just see whether he can affect a turnaround. We'll leave Young on that side. Again, I think we're going to get a fine. We are now. Egan Riley has uh, picked up a yellow card as well. And we're going to lose this one nil, guys. So a losing episode. Both uh, games we've lost through to the dressing room. I'm fed up with keep telling them that it's not good enough. It really is not good enough. And we've played 19th place. We've played 23rd place. And we've lost both games. And we're down to eight points now between us and Shrewsbury Town. And if we don't get promoted as champions, then it's of no fault of ours. Uh, other than ours, should I say, uh, Port Vale have drawn, which has helped us somewhat. Uh, so with six games to go, 18 points available. Um, they are 14 points adrift of us. Like I said, if we won those two games today, we would have been promoted for sure. Um, extremely disappointing. Um, Morecambe have escaped the drop zone um, maybe that was uh, he vows to end his uh, goal drought really we'll see about that so that ends the episode of a dour episode a disappointing episode it seemed to be doing better off of camera than we are on camera at the moment um, and as I said against the, uh, the the bottom side so hopefully in amongst this we've got Shrewsbury Town coming up so Hopefully we'll uh, that that'll g us on a little bit because we seem to, as I say, play better against uh, the top of the table sides. Right, so we're going to motor on. We will be back around about these two games, um, and uh, Gillingham, Accrington, Stanley to round up the season. Hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, if it's not been too a uh, dour episode, if you have, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with this and all future episodes. Uh, new episodes for this particular series are currently released every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and now on a Sunday to uh, get clear of uh, Football Manager 20. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2 uh, for all updates on this series and any new series that's coming out of the channel and lots more besides. Um, and we'll be back for episode 44, the penultimate episode of this particular series on Friday. And we thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.